Greetings from beautiful BC, where the sea meets the sky on the western fringes of the Rocky Mountains as we continue week 15 of the Canadian Premier League. Nigel Reid in the booth alongside Will Cromack as Vancouver FC gets set to host Calgary-based Cavalry FC. Vancouver FC, two changes to the team that lost at Atletico last weekend. Minjay Kwok comes into the defence at left back and Eugene Pelé Martinez, the Belize international, as a holding midfielder. Cavalry FC, in the absence of the suspended Gauthier Intigny, also make a couple of changes from the team that beat Halifax last time out. Jesse Daly, the Australian holding midfielder, comes back into the starting lineup, as does the exciting Ali Moussi, who is now fit again after injury and may cause real problems down that right-hand side. Camargo makes his way inside, looking to feed Bevan, finds him. Teddy forward again, Moosey got a clean header on it. And Callum Irving wasn't overworked there, and Moosey might have done better. Well, I think you, you've also found that they're trying to change. They need to get over the hump of being the leaders. Camargo looking for Bevan, who is in behind. Maya Bevan down in the heat. Referee says penalty. It's going to be a yellow card. Indeed, it's a red card. Straight red card from the referee for Eugene Martinez. Protests from Bannon and Romeo. But the referee decided that he denied an obvious goal scoring opportunity. And Martinez is off the field within six minutes. Bevan against Irving. Maya Bevan. Fine penalty into the corner. Send Irving the wrong way. And the Cavs were in front within seven minutes. That's a fantastic penalty. He's knocked that side mesh. Absolutely perfect penalty. Evan is now the co-leader in the race for the Golden Boot. He has eight on the season. He also has three assists as well. He's having uh, quite the campaign. Quark. Can he find the ball into the area? Across it goes. Diaz. And within ten minutes, we have an equaliser. The ten minute back on terms. Diaz has two and two. And it's 1-1. One, one. El Huero. Strikes for Vancouver. Incredible. I was just going to say, why aren't they getting pressure to the ball at all? They need. They have cover. They have the extra man. Cavalry look to restore their lead in the sunshine in Langley. Romeo again. Daly helped it forward. Dan Clark has scored, has he? He has, you know. And the Dutch defender is all smiles. His teammates congratulate him. He stayed forward after the set piece and was on the spot when he was needed to be. And Dan Klomp has put the Cavs back in front against Vancouver FC. Yeah, they're going to be really disappointed when they see this. A second ball that's really just bounced back in. Had to use his hand to stop the move. Moosey again teasing. The man in black, Moosey, should score, will score. Is it onside? It is. It's Sergio Camargo with a tap in after Moosey did all the hard work. And all of a sudden, Cavalry FC are in total command in Vancouver. They lose the man in black by three goals to one. Look at this. Cameron, good night, see you later. And then. Yeah, I mean, I think, I mean, Vancouver has to do something. I think they're going to probably throw their fullbacks forward a little bit more if they can. Oh, no, trying to get there. Oh. And there was a moment there where Sean Hundle. Watch this. What a clean what a set of goal. No one's attacked the ball. Diaz back to goal. Deep inside his own half. Plenty of red shirts. Still forward. His fist. And Moosey, he wants it on his left peg if he can get it there. Ed, Ed again, left foot here, must be, it is. It's Ben Fisk, it's 4-1 Cavalry. 
And it's becoming a rout in Langley, BC. Good for Ben Fisk. The guy has been through a ton of injuries. That's a welcome back. He's got an assist in the last little while. He's got a goal now. Good movement, good finish. What a ball by Aaron as well with his left peg. Body language might tell you everything. Now, here's the challenge. He kicks him, makes no contact with the ball, and that's kicked out in frustration. That may be seen as violent conduct. Originally gets a yellow card for it. Yeah, we're going to switch him. Then Kinani pushes him over. And the referee goes to his pocket and brandishes a second uh, red card. Bevan is off the field, as is Kinani. Wants a ball more in hope than expectation. And Akio continues his run. Willie Akio goes for goal. Needed the save. Alan Irving got his body behind it and just as well he did. Very difficult to do. Akio away from the tired 37 year old legs of Garcia, who to his credit has stayed with him. Infield it goes. The show. Moussi, wrong leg, wants it on his left leg again, doesn't he? Tries it with his right, doesn't need his left leg. Fantastic finish from Ali Moussi. Four to the best from Cavalry, fine finish. And the Cavs have won it going away. Irving, no chance. Ali Moussi, the goal scorer. And Cavalry lead by five goals to one. Wow. Harsh learning lessons has got to be acknowledged before the game. But more hard lessons to be learned today for the men in black. <laughs> Referee blows his whistle for the final time. Mario Alias showed three red cards, but Ali Moussi and his teammates in red found a way to win handsomely and work their way back to the top of the Canadian Premier League.